chain termination sequencing method. What is it? How does it work? And why is it useful? Chain termination sequencing method or Sanger sequencing is a way to determine the nucleotide sequence of DNA. Sanger sequencing works by creating multiple copies of a target DNA region. To better understand the process, it helps to be familiar with PCR. So if that feels very unfamiliar to you, I recommend that you check out my video on qPCR where I also go through normal PCR in detail. Chain termination sequencing uses DNA polymerase enzyme, a primer, the four DNA nucleotides and the template DNA which one wishes to sequence. In addition, a Sanger sequencing reaction contains D-deoxy versions of the four nucleotides shortened as DDNTPs, which causes the reaction to stop. This is because the D-deoxy nucleotide lacks the hydroxyl OH group on its tree carbon of the sugar ring, which normally acts as a link to the next nucleotide, forming a sort of bridge between different nucleotides. Without this link, when a D-deoxy nucleotide is incorporated into the DNA strand, it results in a termination of the sequencing process. It breaks the chain of links. Each of these dideoxy nucleotides have a label linked to their nitrogenous base as well. When the PCR reaction is carried out, containing a mixture of both DNTPs and these DDNTPs, it results in DNA sequences of many different lengths being created. We can determine the specific type of nucleotide at which termination occurs thanks to the different colored dyes that these DDNTPs have been labeled with. Furthermore, we can infer its placement by knowing the starting point as well as the size of each piece. Then it is merely a question of aligning the pieces according to their size from the smallest to the largest. And by this way, we know each nucleotide at each specific point along the gene sequence since based on the size of each piece of DNA we know the position and based on the color of each final nucleotide which is due to the DDMP label we know which specific nucleotide base it is A, C, G or T. Before we move on to whether or not the technique is useful please consider liking the video if you have found it helpful so far. So Sanger sequencing is actually slowly being overtaken by next generation sequencing methods. However, it is still widely used for small scale experiments, for example. The reason for this decrease in popularity of this method is quite simple. Due to the randomness of when the reaction gets terminated, one can only sequence a limited length of nucleotides before the reaction is basically guaranteed to be ended and it becomes virtually impossible for longer pieces of sequenced nucleotides to be created. This is just due to the nature of probability. It is sort of the equivalent of trying to throw a die 100 times without getting a single 6. You can try this out at home if you want. Good luck, the odds are not in your favor. <laughs> With that, if you know someone who could also benefit from this information, please consider sharing it with them, it really helps me out. And thank you so much for watching. Until next time.